first we're going to dry roast all the ingredients starting with two tablespoons of coriander seeds one teaspoon cumin seeds one teaspoon fennel half teaspoon ajwain or carom seeds one teaspoon whole peppercorns quarter teaspoon fenugreek a piece of cinnamon six cloves four cardamom one teaspoon poppy seeds or gaskas one star anise piece of maize and i have about eight round red chilies now these are a, a different variety of red chilies but they're quite nice and spicy so i'm going to use these you can remove the stalk and then roast them so i've kept the flame on low Once I add all the ingredients, I'm going to keep it on a medium. I'll start roasting them. So while I'm roasting these ingredients, I can already get a lovely aroma of all the spices here. The ingredients are roasted to a nice golden brown color. Turn off the stove. Make sure you cool this mixture completely before grinding. are completely cold so now I'm going to grind this to a nice fine powder you can see now that it's a nice fine powder Take one teaspoon oil, add one teaspoon fennel seeds, half teaspoon poppy seeds or gaskas, one tablespoon roasted chana dal, around eight red chilies. To this, add half cup of freshly grated coconut. Next, I'm going to add a piece of ginger that I've cut up and a few cloves of garlic, about four to five. So after roasting it for a few minutes, you can see getting this lovely aroma. Turn off the stove, let the mixture cool and then we're going to grind it to a nice fine paste. Now I'm going to saute a few ingredients. Take about two tablespoons of gingerly oil. Add the whole spices, that is the bay leaf, cardamom, clove and cinnamon. Add the onions. I have two onions that are finely chopped and the green chilies. Saute it till the onions are nice and brown. Add a few curry leaves. Add the chopped tomatoes. I have two tomatoes which are medium sized. After adding the tomatoes, now I'm going to add the spice powders. Half teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon chili powder, two teaspoons coriander powder and season it with some salt. Mix it and once the Tomatoes are nicely mashed up. Add the ground masala paste. So I'm going to dilute this thick masala with some water and let it simmer till the raw smell goes. So the gravy has been simmering for about 10 minutes now and the raw smell is gone. I'm going to crack open the egg one at a time and just drop it into the gravy. Try not to break the yolk. So be very gentle while dropping it into the gravy but even if the yolk breaks never mind don't worry about it so once you've dropped the eggs in close it and let it cook for about 15 minutes on medium low flame wow the eggs are cooked beautifully you can see they're done i'm going to turn off the stove and you can see the oil separating as well so this has been cooking for about 15 minutes now just garnish it with some chopped coriander leaves So for this particular recipe, make sure you have uh, the brinjols that are of all of equal size. So you need to cut them in the center like this into four. So make sure you keep the crown, cut it all the way down. This is what it should look like when you cut your brinjols. So first I'm going to make a masala that I'm going to stuff into the brinjols. For that you need half teaspoon turmeric powder, two teaspoons chili powder, 
3 teaspoons coriander powder, a little salt, tamarind puree. To mix this, just add a little water to get a paste consistency. So take a little bit of the masala paste and just gently rub it into the brinjals. This is your masala that goes into the brinjal. Gently rub it in, just close it and leave it. Take a kadai, a white saucepan, add half cup of oil. First we're going to shallow fry the brinjals. Make sure it's fried on all sides. Put it on medium high. So once the brinjal is half cooked, I'm just going to remove it. Keep it aside in a plate. Now that I've shallow fried the brinjals, we're going to keep it aside and we're going to start tempering the ingredients. So I'm going to use the same oil because it has a lot of flavor in it. Add half teaspoon mustard seeds, quarter teaspoon fenugreek seeds, half teaspoon cumin seeds, half teaspoon acerbata powder or hing, a few curry leaves. So I have two bowls of shallots. So half of them I'm going to add as a whole. And the rest, I have sliced it, but it's chopped it fine. I'm going to add that. So I have about five to six cloves of garlic that I've roughly pounded. I'm going to add that. So once you've added that, just get that in, mix it. So I'm going to add two tomatoes. The first tomato is finely chopped. Mix it in. And the second tomato is grated. I'm going to add that. Now add quarter teaspoon turmeric powder. 2 teaspoons chilli powder, 1 teaspoon coriander powder, salt, add quarter cup of thick tamarind puree. I'm going to add a little water to this. So once the curry starts boiling, add the brinjals one at a time. Close it and let it cook for about 10 minutes. Keep the flame on medium low. So the brinjals are cooked. You can see it's cooked beautifully. And the gravy is also thickened. Check for seasoning at this point. If you need to add a little salt, you can add. I'm going to balance the flavors of the spiciness and the tanginess with a uh, spoon of powder jaggery. This will just balance the flavors. Gently mix it. You can get a copy of our first edition of the home cooking book on 21 Friends.